This iconic motorcycle had very low hours on it, but suffered from a common malady, poor air filtration, which had allowed dirt and debris to get into the upper cylinder. The air box and the filter were not sealing properly, a problem for dirt motorcycles. In this case, the leak is 95% shown on the gauge. This means that 95% of the air that's going into that combustion chamber is leaking out of the engine. That can be past the valves, past the piston rings, past the head gasket if it's leaking, or past a casting crack. So we'll want to pinpoint where that air is going. But we know we have a major problem because the highest percentage of leak that I would want to see is around 20%. And an engine that is brand new and sealing properly should be more like 8 to 10 percent cylinder leak. To pinpoint this 95 percent leakage, I'll go to the exhaust pipe, the carburetor intake, and the crankcase breather to see where that air is going. And I should find a steady stream of it with that much leakage. Here's conclusive evidence that the exhaust valves are leaking. Listen to this. The intakes are leaking as well. When I cap off the exhaust, that leaking air comes out the intake. This means both the intake and the exhaust valves are leaking on this engine. With this volume of air leaking out of the exhaust and intake valves, we can now check to see if the crankcase is also getting air, which would mean that air is moving past the piston rings. It's very easy to observe the amount of dirt accumulated inboard of the air cleaner. This same dirt could have gone past the valves and damaged the valves as well as the piston rings and the nicosil in the upper cylinder. The head is free and we can see the excessive carbon buildup from valves that were not seating properly and compression was low. The nicosil can be carefully examined in the cylinder now and the cylinder ridge shows glazing and damage from debris running through the upper cylinder and combustion chamber. Compression was obviously low in this engine. We can now examine the cylinder barrel. The nicosil is intact in most areas of the wall, but up in the ridge area you can see the scoring damage and signs of abuse from debris running through the upper cylinder. There's no damage to the engine beyond the upper cylinder wear and the valves which show an excessive amount of carbon and are obviously leaking. This engine had proper lubrication and quality oil, and with liquid cooling, excessive damage did not occur. Our head and valves needed attention. The valves and valve seats showed damage. This exhaust valve could not possibly have been seating, and there was a major leak of compression and manifold vacuum. After cleaning up the cylinder head and valves, LA Sleeve tested the vacuum seal at the valves and the valve seats. The leak was substantial. 30% of the cylinder pressure was leaking off at the valves. This confirmed our findings from a cylinder leak down test. The precision cut seats will last for a very long service life. New intake valves, reconditioned exhaust valves, the trude and surface head is ready to go together with valve springs and new guide seals. While the Nicosil cylinder could have been honed or replated, we opted for LA Sleeves Molly 2000 Alloy Iron Chrome Molly Cylinder Sleeve. This is the finished cylinder wall, precision crosshatch honing, a new cast piston, rings, piston pin, gaskets, and a hot cam stage one camshaft come from the extensive parts inventory at LA Sleeve.